What up, y'all? What up, y'all? It's me. Before I start this video, let me get the sleep out of my eye. I, I, I want to ask y'all, I need y'all a big favor. I need a big favor from y'all. Now, y'all remember in the beginning of the year how I was telling you that my focus is more on music? Well, I need your help choosing my next single, my first single of 2018. See, I want, I, I could be like all the other artists and just do it myself, pick it and tell y'all what you're going to listen to. But I want you, the SJ Nation, to be a part of the process. Now, on my next couple of videos, I'm going to be putting this message in front of it. And I just want everybody to comment what, I mean, this is how I do it. I have two songs to pick from. All I need is a few people to email me, right? I'm gonna put my email here or in the description. I need you to email me um, and tell me you wanna be a part of the voting process. And what I'll do there is I will send you two songs for free. You got to just listen to them, you get to keep them. My only thing I ask is don't release them, obviously, before it's released. So I need you to pick them and then come I was gonna do it this Monday, but maybe a few days later, I'm gonna have everybody vote on the one. So that way I wanted everybody to feel like they are a part of this process because we are a movement, not just a fan base. Uh, shout out to everybody for support and I'm really excited for this. And a lot of y'all been asking, where's the new music coming? Well, it's up to y'all. So drop a comment below. Um, if you message me, if you email me, drop a comment below and or just email me right away and i'll send you the songs right away now here we go tory lanes march 2nd go oh, you're gonna want to take stay tuned for this one <laughs> thanks beats cool second cycle the kid is moving like belly idol mm -hmm. with some past two w's that i'm still entitled sounds like drake Get it and you see it. All right. Gotta get it right, get it tight. Okay. Guess who's bit at? Still smell it out of my clothes, ladies and gentlemen. What up? It's your boy Screwface. That's a J. And I'm back on my everyday grind, you know what I mean? On my new review everyday type grind. And um, shout out to everybody who checked out the ones I dropped yesterday. Uh, that new Drake and Black Boy JB, which is still, <laughs> still rocking in the cut. Um, and then also shout out to everybody. Two yesterday I dropped the Kendrick Lamar song. Uh, featuring Travis Scott because the Black Panther album just dropped. I was thinking of doing a full review of the Black Panther album, but I also was like, I might let this one slide. I probably should. Let me know in the comment section below if y'all want me to do a full, you know, reaction to the album. Um, it the views that the one the last one I did are getting are pretty decent pretty you know above average but nothing that's telling me to do the entire album uh so if y'all want that make sure y'all check that out but we're here with a new song from canada's own mr daystar aka tory lanes young lanes not to get it confused with tory lane if you know who that is, I ain't gonna tell you. Odds are you do, you liar, you. Anyway, so, um, yeah. Tori just dropped a new song uh, off of his album, Memories Don't Die. It's called March 2nd. That's when the album is gonna be dropping. Uh, it's a sophomore album. 
his first album uh, had some real good songs in it. I honestly think for like the stuff that he was dropping before his album dropped, he should have had some more fire. It should have been better, but that's cool. I mess with Tory, a uh, big fan of Tory. Not a big fan of the moves he makes all the time though. Um, the beefing with Drake stuff. It's cool, I guess, to beef with Drake because he's the top Canadian rapper, but the way he was doing it got to levels of trolling. That just got mad, kind of corny to me. And I also, you're probably like, why he keep itching his face? I don't know, I have a, I have like a, I gotta like touch my face in my head, I don't know why. I have like a weird habit of doing that. But um, yeah, the ways that he was beefing with Drake to me became kind of cringy. And I've seen that a lot of his, you know, marketing and stuff is kind of, he kind of moves like Drake too. Um, him and Drake squashed the beef last year, which was, cool but which is weird because i feel like the second him and drake squashed the beef the relevancy of tory lanes took like a major hit major 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 hit uh i think people kind of wanted him to be the yin to drake's yang which is also corny because i can't go on forever but too much rambling we got a new song today called march 2nd Kind of going back with the Drake, you know, 5 a.m. in Toronto, October Zone, you know, the dates, the date naming type thing. So we're going to do the breakdown. I can't even find the lyrics. That's how new it is. So I'm going to need everybody to hit the like button on the count of three before I start. One, two, three. No, no, pull up on that like button. Pull up. Roll the window down. Look at it. Be like, hey, yo, cuz. Hey, yo, you that like button? And then as soon as you say, what, what is it to you? You pull up the thing, pop, 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 pop. hit it like three times. All right, here we go. March 2nd, by Tory Lanez. You know what I mean? Let's get a pop. Beats cool. Second cycle, the kid is moving like Billy Idol. Mm -hmm. With some past two W's, then I'm still entitled. Sounds like Drake. Off tops. Like, come on, Tori. It sounds like Drake. Like even the instrument, even the instrumental sounds like so far gone, Drake. This literally sounds like, oh my God. His flow sounds like Drake. His voice sounds like Drake. And literally I'm 16 seconds into it and the beat sounds like Drake. Like. I know there's gonna be a lot of Tory Lanez fans in here being like, why you always gotta compare him to Drake? But are you serious? Come on, Tory knows what he's doing. He knows comparing himself to Drake's gonna keep him in relevant. It's already tainted the song for me, man. Like, this is so Drake. Like, listen to the instrument. Are you serious? What, what Drake beat is this? I could almost name you what flow and what Drake beat he's using, like, Ugh, this is not good. I don't like that. That's whack to me. Five, five stars. Five demerits right away. City, let me, I treat us black as the strap. I'm using the hit to rob him. Last That's time fire, was great, but I know this one is great. Sounds like Drake. I made it this far as a great complex of them covers that are coming from Vader. I'm at tables with mayors who love. Ah, this dude be shameless with it. I don't care, bro. I don't care if a bunch of Tory Lanez fans come in here and thumbs down this. I'm a Tory Lanez fan, or I used to be, and Tory's always had a problem with finding his own sound. Always. Always. He's always sounded like, he sounded like Meek Drizzy Ace Hood. That's what he's always, what is this? This is, what, uh, what was the line Drake said? Uh, 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 none of you names, none of you names, man. This is, am I tripping? This is Drake. I'm reading the comments. Someone said Master Drake's flow. Tori, this is corny. This is corny. This is corny. This is top five corniest things I've ever heard you do. This isn't dope. Like, I want to react because the bars, when he said, all black with the strap that I hit the opponents with, that's fire. But it's just like, stop biting. Stop biting, bro. This is trash, bro. I'm, it made me angry. <sighs> so, 
and it's only 31 seconds into it. I know all y'all like, well, I know he doesn't like it now. He's not going to get a good reaction. I'm going to still react to it, but like, this is making me sick. Like, Fuck it, I made it from Bucky, slept it, walking through the city and niggas screaming, I did it. I spit this shit from really? way back for him, it never came back for him. Drizzy so Lane. So I wait back for him, like they my niggas, and so it's sufficient. When we was both dealing, I used to trash. Think pigeon, I guess, then I'd have lost some good girls. And oh, let me guess, you're gonna start rapping about your female problems and how you lost some good girls, how they changed up on you, how the money makes it. You might as well just say it's funny how money can make change out of N words. You might as well just say that. Uh, with Melody in the strip club, you weren't rap about the, rap, the the chicks in the strip club you done met. Might as well, Tori. Might as well. You're not even trying to hide it. Ugh. I'm appalled. Shout out to Jay Black. I am disgusted. Niggas that I would cope with. Been backstabbed by niggas I used to smoke with. Run it toe to toe with it go and it blow for blow with it. Send it shit no for no way. Money on the line. Yo, Drake. Yo. Here's my thing. If we gonna forever turn Drake's legacy and forever not put him in the top rappers of all time because he quote unquote had a ghostwriter. We're never going to put him there. We always crap on Drake for that. Are you going to tell me we're not going we gonna to let Tory slide with this? What's worse? Having a ghostwriter make you good, unique music? Or you don't, we don't even know for a fact how much ghostwriting he did. All right? So what's worse? Having a ghostwriter do make music for you that sounds dope and original? Or being original? but only writing music that sounds like another artist. Which one is worse? Which one's worse? Because at least one isn't biting. Y'all like this? Why not just listen to Drake? I don't I don't get it. That's, that's the thing about copycat artists. I don't understand. Why would I listen to you? Why? Drake has a bigger budget. Drake has a more grandiose presentation of his stuff. So it would be like, if, why? Like, why would I spend my time listening to you when I could just listen to the original, to me, which is way better. Like, I don't care if lyrically this is better than what Drake does in Five Grand in Toronto and those songs, which it isn't, which is the type of songs he's trying to bite. Um, like the Drake introspective records. Uh, I don't care because at least Drake is the originator and there's just in hip hop there's a there's a there's a sense of whackness that comes off of biting. Just a set like where none of this stuff is sound of fire to me. Like just Honest money, y'all don't sum it up for the grind. I promise when I got it, I fuck it up for the new cammy. Hit a belly, smoking on a fat 20. Jealous Yo. niggas don't offend me. Do one for the right. family OGs that never sent me on mission when Yo, I was Drake, down to put clip in the middle of the year. I didn't mean this, I'm blessed. When I think about who shot at me and missed, I came from real situations. And he talking that talk too. That's the worst part. So much bros like a wayers. Sometimes mm, I wait for that the hour, never they try weighing in a day out in a day in. Didn't Drake have a Wayne's Brothers line about more brothers in the Wayne's? Tori just a, is, a, is a troll. I don't think he's serious. He's a great musician, but his marketing strategy is trolling. I just... Whatever, bro. Shooters on say when day in city I come right. from. Told me that it's nothing to rub subs. So till that day, right. still at war, I'm still at pay. Never change, okay. boy, we still at way. So your fuck. That's disappointing. That's super disappointing. Um I heard the song but I didn't even really hear it because I just heard Drake like I don't think Tory's ever going to move out of that. Uh, I think he's realized that he needs to at least troll Drake or Drake fans to get to to get the buzz that he once had. This is this is so corny to me that it's like like Tory is too good of a writer to not know what he's doing. Tory goes right for people. 
Tory Ghost writes for people. I know he does. So you know what you're doing. Like I'm not a, you know, what I mean, I'm not a consumer. I'm a creator. So I ain't even gonna walk down that path that you want the consumers to walk down. I know what you're doing, right? And I know when they interview you and ask you about it, you're gonna act oblivious, right? I'm pretty sure this next album you're gonna drop is gonna have plenty of stuff like Drake, because you need people to ask why does it sound like Drake, so you can. And then when you ask, you're like. What? I don't want to talk about that guy. Stop it, man. Stop it. Hold on. Is we still filming? Oh, yeah. Yeah, um... Lyrically, this was dope, man. Honestly. But... I honestly just cannot give it... A seal of approval, man. Like, if you want to hear this song, go listen to... A plethora of Drake songs, a plethora of Drake songs that are done better, honestly, like, but I'm a Tory fan, so every time I hear something like this, I become less of one, but am I tripping? Put it in the comment section below. Make sure you put hashtag SFJ Nation. My name is Screw. I'm pretty freaking awesome. I'm just disappointed right now, I guess, but I love you. Face.